Hello students, in this session we are going to study the shear stress distribution for a circular section. We have a circular section and we want to find out the shear stress distribution in that section. So th suppose this is a circular section. This is a beam of circular section. I have made it bigger. And we want to find out, we have to draw the shear stress distribution for this circular section, right? So we have to draw the shear stress distribution for this circular section starting from the top fiber to the bottom fiber. What is the shear stress distribution that we will draw here, right? And suppose the diameter of this uh, circular section is given to us like D. D is the diameter of this circular section capital D is the diameter of this circular section and we have to draw the uh, shear stress distribution right so as usual let us take a small section small section from the top fiber like this this is a small section and first find out the shear stress in this part and that will be valid for the entire section, right? So what is the formula? Formula we know that tau is equal to F A Y bar by I B. This we have proved in our previous lectures that shear stress distribution is given by this uh, term, right? Where B is the width, B is the width of this part, right? B is the width, right? Now, in triangle and rectangle, we were able to find out a y bar very easily, right? This was the moment of this area. But now, first we have to find out this area and then moment of this area, it seems very difficult to find out uh, the moment of area of this uh, section. So we, what we can do is, we can make it further simpler. What we can do is, to find out a y bar, this a y bar is um, finding a y bar is a difficult task right first we have to take the area of this section this part right and then uh, taking the y bar y bar of this part so what we can do is we can take a further smaller section in this small section in this small section we can take a further small section and suppose y even distance uh, distance of this from the bottom edge is y y and b is the width of this part total part width this is the width what we can do is we can small we can take a small further small section in this small section a further small strip can be taken and we can we can find out the moment of this small area and the integrating with it we can get the total small area total moment of this area right so what we are doing is we are taking in this small strip a further small strip further small strip we are taking this right of strip thickness dy it has a thickness of dy so we have taken uh, at a y distance we have taken a small strip dy and we can find out what is the area of this strip now this is a rectangle this is a rectangle right b dy so it will be having a area so area of small strip area of small strip dy is that is given by a is equal to uh, b dy b multiplied by dy right this is the area now is it becomes a rectangle right and moment of this area is multiplied by y about the neutral axis this is the neutral axis so this will be area multiplied by y so moment of moment of area of small strip strip is a uh, ay right so uh, moment of this a small strip area of the small strip will be given by a area is b y dy so this is the moment of this small strip right moment of this small strip that is b y dy right now integrating this we can find out a y bar taking from y to capital r suppose the radius radius of this uh, circle is capital r suppose right suppose outer radius of this circle is capital R so what we can do is we can integrate this moment from y to capital R 
to get the total area moment of area of this part right so we can get the a y bar a y bar by integrating a y bar by integrating this moment that is b y dy b y dy starting from y because uh, first fiber is y and the last fiber is capital r starting from y to capital r so this is how we can obtain the moment of this area a y bar right so this can be obtained that b y d y is the moment of this small strip area so a y bar equal to b y d y integral from y to r from y to capital r right first fiber is the y and last fiber is the capital r so b y d y is the moment integration of b y d y right now but here are many unknowns are there like b and y two unknowns are there we want to make only one unknown so what we can do is we can replace either y or b b or y can be replaced so here in this strip you can see here if i put a triangle here if i draw a triangle here like this right this distance is y this distance is y and this distance this distance is b by 2 this distance is b by 2 this is y and this is capital r right so because half of the width half the width and this is y right so this is a triangle in which b can be written in terms of y or y can be written in terms of b and r is a fix that is constant capital r is the radius of the circle right so from this triangle this triangle suppose this is triangle is c a b so a b c triangle in triangle a b c uh, square of this will be equal to b square by 4 will be equal to r square plus r square minus y square r square minus y square so b can be replaced here so b can be written as b can be written as or b square can be written as b square can be written as 4 multiplied by r square minus y square so perpendicular square base square equal to hypotenuse square right pythagoras theorem we have applied b square by 4 equal to r square minus y square right so b square is equal to 4 times r square minus y square right now we can replace y dy also so we can integrate differentiate it differentiating it we can what we can get it that is 2b db integration of b b is variable that will be equal to r is fixed constant so its differentiation is zero and other is that will get minus i 8 y dy so y dy can be replaced with uh, b db right so b db uh, y dy can be written as y dy can be written as uh, y dy that is minus 1 by 4 b db so by this the integration can be simplified that y dy is now replaced with b db right and integration is from limit y to capital r so at y at y equal to y when the y is y the width is b right so width is b and when y is capital r upper limit is capital r width is zero because this point is a point and there is no width at the upper portion of the circle right so when y is y this part the width is b total width b and y, y is radius b is zero now we can put here this part and we can integrate it so a y bar will be equal to integration of y to r y to r means b to zero b to zero that is y dy b times y dy is minus 1 by 4 b db so this will be equal to minus we can make plus by uh, replacing the lower limit and upper limit, upper limit and we can write uh, 1 by 4 from 0 to b b square db right so we have to integrate this thing only right to get the a y bar so a y bar can be obtained as a y bar which is difficult to find out for circular section a y bar will be equal to 
1 by 4. B square can be replaced with B cube by 3 from 0 to B. Integration of B square is B cube by 3. So that will be equal to upper limit minus lower limit. So you will get B cube by 12. So A y bar is now known to us. A y bar is known to us that is B cube by 12, right? So A y bar is B cube by 12. Put here and get the value. So this is equation number one, main equation. Put this value in one, put in one and see what you are getting is shear stress will be equal to, shear stress will be equal to A y bar is B cube by 12. So F B cube by F B cube by 12 I and B square because B, B is here. So B square upon 12 I F B square upon 12 I right F B square upon 12 I and what is B? What is B? From here we can find out B. This implies B will be equal to under root 2 times under root r square minus y square r square minus y square from here we can find out b also in terms of y because y is our variable from the neutral axis so we can write f by 12 b square b square is this 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 value 4 r square minus y square so this is 4 r square minus y square so from here we can write f by 3 f by 3i r square minus y square. So shear stress distribution is now obtained f by 3i r square minus y square which is a parabolic distribution. So this distribution is again parabolic in nature. This distribution is again parabolic distribution f by 3i r square minus y square. Right? Now when y is 0 at the center r is tau is maximum tau is maximum at the y is 0 and when y is equal to r outer fiber tau is 0 so at y is equal to r tau is 0 and at y is equal to 0 tau is tau maximum and it is parabolic y is 0 tau maximum and what is the value of tau maximum tau maximum will be equal to y is 0 f r square by 3 3i f r square by 3i f r square by 3i so the shear stress is 0 at the outer fibers at outer fibers shear stress is 0 this is the 0 stress mode fibers and shear stress is varying parabolically with peak maximum at the center tau max so this is the tau max tau max so tau max is at the center and shear stress is zero at the outer fibers right and what is the value of tau max that is f r square upon 3i right so this is a something we want to find out the shear stress distribution and maximum shear stress but what is tau average and what is relation between tau max and tau average what is tau average? Average shear stress. We want to find out tau average. We want to find out tau average. So what is tau average? Tau average is shear stress, uh, shear force per unit area. And what is area? Area of a circle, pi r square. So that will be f upon pi r square. This is the average shear force. Average shear force. And uh, what is tau max? Tau max that will be equal to f r square by 3i. So f r square by 3i. And what is i? Pi by 64 d to the power 4. Moment of inertia of a circle about the neutral axis. So that is pi by 64 d to the power 4. So this is pi by 64 d to the power 4. Right? Or you can write f r square upon 64 f r square upon 
थ्री मल्टीप्लाइड बाई पाई थ्री पाई मल्टीप्लाइड डी टू दावर फोर कैन बी रिटर्न टू आर टू दावर फोर राइट सो वी कैन राइट वी कैन राइट फ्रॉम हियर टाउ मैक्स विल बी इक्वल टू टाउ मैक्स विल बी इक्वल टू इट विल बी फोर बाय थ्री फोर बाय थ्री एफ अपॉन पाई आर स्क्र दिस इज टाउ मैक्स so if we, this equation is equation number 3 this equation is equation number 4 this equation is equation number 5 this equation is equation number 6 so we have tau average and tau maximum tau average and tau maximum tau maximum is 4 by 3 f by pi r square tau average is f by pi r square so comparing 5 and 6 comparing 5 and 6 we can find out tau relation between tau max and tau average so you can write tau max will be equal to this term is tau average 4 by 3 tau average so by this we can find out the maximum shear stress the shear stress distribution which is parabolic average shear stress right average shear stress will be somewhat here this is the Average shear stress and the relation between tau max and tau average. This is four by three. Tau max is four by three times the tau average.